Hello. In this video, we are going to derive the Nernst equation. Recall our relationship between the Gibbs free energy, delta G, and the electromotive force of a cell is equal to minus N times F times E. F here is the Faraday constant, which is the number of coulombs of charge in one mole of electrons. N is the number of moles of electrons transferred. And it's very important minus sign. So we see that when we have a spontaneous process where delta G is negative, that corresponds to a process where the electromotive force, E, the voltage, is a positive number. Now, let's just specialize this general equation to the special case where we are under standard conditions. So therefore, all the reactants or products have a concentration of one molar or they have a partial pressure of one atmosphere. So in that case, delta G becomes delta G naught. Minus sign stays the same. Number of moles of electrons transferred stays the same. The Faraday constant stays exactly the same. But now we replace electromotive force with E naught. So that's the electromotive force under standard conditions. Next, we recall the relationship between the standard Gibbs energy, delta G naught, and the Gibbs energy, delta G, which is that delta G equals delta G naught plus RT times the natural log of Q, where Q is the reaction quotient, T is the thermodynamic temperature, and R is the Gantz constant. So one thing that we can do right away is to substitute the two equations we have on the first line into the appropriate location in the second equation. So we can replace delta G by minus N times F times E. And we can replace delta G naught by minus N F E naught, and then we continue with the plus RT times the natural log of Q. Next, we can divide each side of the equation by a minus N F. So that gives the left hand side, we now we have E. On the right hand side, we have E naught plus and the minus, we have to make sure we have the minus sign, RT times the natural log of Q and then divide it by NF. So the important things here are by dividing through by minus N times F, we now we have expression purely in terms of the overall voltage for the cell in terms of the voltage under standard conditions, and we see that we have this additional minus RT over NF times the natural log of Q term. This is the result that we wanted, the so-called Nernst equation. As one final result, we can make some minor manipulations in this version of the Nernst equation. And we're going to look at the special case where the temperature is equal to 298.15 Kelvin. So if we do that and we convert from natural logs to, uh, from base 10 logs to natural logs, then we end up getting that this expression in green here is transformed into minus 0 0.0592 volts divided by N, now times the base 10 logarithm of the reaction quotient. So here we have a second convenient version of the Nernst equation to use in a special case when we're doing it at 25 degrees centigrade, and it has the advantage that we don't need to 
specifically look up either the gas constant R or the Faraday constant F, and we can use the more comfortable base 10 logarithms rather than the base E logarithms. Thank you very much for your attention. As always, have a good one.